Hello everyone, this is Helios Raven. I tell you how I do it, even if you don't care. And we were just about finished painting up the dwarven bronze on this um, door hatch here. And so we're just going to finish up that by getting this little edging that I missed in our last episode. Now, that's that for that. Now we're going to put on our... Just let that dry for a little bit, and we'll go back to the prongs over here on the back of this basilisk. We're first going to paint the chainmail on them. Because that's why I decided I want the color to be. Just a quick... Dry brush of chainmail. Giving that door hatch a little bit more time to dry, we'll put some, we'll touch up the pieces of the chaos black that I scraped off of this guy when attaching the basilisk support here. So. Now, let's look back at our door here. It's dry enough, ready for the next part of the brass paint, which is the shining gold. Final step on that door hatch, we put some tin bits on it. That is done. I can take it and now place it on the top of the chassis here. Now, the way I do that is, is I take a little bit of super glue and I put it along the edge of the doorway, the bottom ed lip here. As 
you know, you may not be able to see, but some of the glue seeped off to the bottom and left a white residue, so we're going to have to clean that up before um, before we can clear this thing done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hold off on that for now, and we're going to continue with adding some extra p bits to the to the um, tank. We're going to paint up this little can here so it's nice and ready. I just noticed that there's a small bit of... There's a small gap where paint didn't cover completely, so we're just going to take care of that first. A little dash of chaos black right there. Okay. And then we'll move on. Now, first I'm going to do is I'm going to paint up the multi melta. Now, I'm going to do chainmail, my standard chainmail, and I'm just going to use dwarven bronze for the flamer bits here instead of the brass look, mostly because I kind of like that dwarven bronze look for the flamer instead. So what we're going to first do is going to apply our primary color, which is the chainmail. Chainmail. Gonna add some chainmail to this guy here. And I'm gonna add some chainmail to the latter here. Since this piece here really doesn't have any more detail left except for the buckles, I can do that with it painted on. I'm just going to take this and apply it to the side of the chimera right now. So I'll take the glue. And apply it to the side of the tank here. There we go. Hey, sorry about that. And there it is. And we're going to add a little bit of extra detail. We're going to put on a dwarven bronze buckle onto the 
belt buckles that are on it. Okay, now we're going to move on to putting on some extra detail, continuing the detail work on some of the other pieces of the basilisk. So we're going to put some the dwarven bronze on the tip of the heavy flamer here. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. Okay, now that's that for that. We're gonna then add some tin bits to our ladder here. We have a little bit some joints down here for the ladder to connect to. Just add some tin bits to those. Okay. Now that is it for today. Oops, sorry. So until next time, this is Helios Raven signing off.